Welcome to Sensor Zaheed, y'all. We're gonna get right into it with these fragrances. We ain't gonna play no games with them. Now let's talk about Givenchy's Gentleman Society. Now, for this line, uh, I'm not too, too familiar with Givenchy's line overall, right? I've never owned any of them personally. I've had, um, I've had experiences like with samples. Um, I've sampled Givenchy's Gentleman, the Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum. I've had Reserve Privé. I've sampled Bose. Uh, but this one in particular, I haven't had a chance to sample up until now. Now, some of the other ones that I've sampled previously, uh, they all had a um, little bit more of an intense smell. Like outside of the Eau de Toilette, they definitely weren't something that you just kind of threw on and, you know, sprayed on and went to the park. You know, or, you know, you sprayed on and then, you know, went to the beach. These were fragrances that uh, very much you threw on, you know, in the hope of, you know, going somewhere that was, you know, at least business casual, right? I don't think anybody's wearing reserve for Bay and going out uh, to, you know, meet up at a, at a Starbucks. This is not really what the fragrances were for, right? Uh, but this one um, is a very interesting line. I, I'm definitely interested with it. Now, first and first of all, I definitely want to talk about the box it came in. So. I got this one during Christmas time, so you know they already hit your boy. They hit me. They got me. Well, I think it was like 150 when I was all said and done. Um, I ended up getting the 100 milliliter and the 12 and a half milliliter. So I got the the big one and then also the sample kit. Now, just because of how strong this fragrance is, I don't believe you need a, a well, what was it called? Like a travel kit. I don't think you need one. Um, this is a little bit of the differences between both of the sizing. Um, I don't necessarily think you need it. The 100 milliliter would be just fine. Now, as far as the bottle, kind of how it looks, I actually like it. I'm a, a huge fan of it. Um, it's kind of see-through at the bottom, a little bit transparent down there, uh, right up until you get to the, you know, from, you know, this part up, it's all blacked out. So you can't get, there's really no sunlight that goes through here, which I love because any fragrance head out there will tell you, you definitely don't want to expose your fragrances to light and really any forms of light. Seems like Givenchy has the similar idea. So they definitely made sure to black it out. I'm assuming for that purpose, but maybe it's just because they just like it like that. Now the symbol looks great. Um, there's nothing, doesn't feel cheap. You know, you tap it and it, you know, it feels like real metal that's right around it with the signature logo. The cap, very, uh, it's not light. You know, it's got a nice weight to it. Almost kind of hard to pull out. Um, but uh, overall, I like the bottle cap as well. Now, as far as the out, the overall fragrance, um, this fragrance uh, has not a, a not a lot of uh, different notes, but they're very unique, at least to me. All right and now, in the top notes, it's you know you're you're running the mill. You have some cardamom. And you have some sage the middle notes and the base notes is where I think it really shines specifically the middle note now for the middle note you have French narcissus flower which I haven't heard too much of I can't think of a fragrance off the top of my head where French narcissus just stands out I can't think of one um, but it also has Haitian vetiver Madagascar and vetiver you know don't know the difference but Base notes are going to be vanilla, palo santo, and cedar. So you got the woods towards the base. And you also have that vanilla to kind of give it a little bit of subtle sweetness. At least that's what it's projected to do. Me personally, I, I'm very interested to kind of, you know, see how this is going to smell and like how this is going to, how this is going to actually work. Like I said, I personally don't have any, any experience with French Narcissus. So it's going to be something for me. Can I just spray it a little bit right there? Let it settle. Yeah, so from the top, you get a little bit of the car. You could definitely smell the sage in it. The cardamom kind of gives it a, um, you know, a little bit of a freshness. Slight spice to it, but a little bit of a freshness. I would also say that um, it's a slight incense note, almost, um, right off the top. Slight incense note. Now, uh, as you break it down and as it kind of, as the scent develops, that French Narcissus is gonna come into play with the vetiver. 
Now, with the French Narcissus, and I'm not gonna smell it yet, but you get a little bit of that floral. So you're gonna get a nice floral chord. Um, they describe it on the website, if you check it out, as being a, 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 daff, a floral daffodil. You're definitely gonna get some of that. Not a, um, not a sweet smell, but, um, you know, uh, more of like a, a floral chord, right? smells real nice it smells real unique um, and, and as it kind of evens out that's gonna last for I want to say let me see from you know the opening to the middle it's gonna last about a good 30 to 45 minutes once you get to that middle then you're gonna get that floral cord the vetiver is gonna come out that's gonna last at least another hour or so now what I've noticed is that towards the end um, which would be about at the one hour and 30-ish, two hour mark. That's when the vanilla is gonna come up. The woods are gonna kind of back up that, you know, that vanilla and the daffodil, that floral core is just gonna kind of go real subtle. Now it's not something that's overwhelming from the start, but it's gonna even itself out and it's gonna kind of get a little bit weaker and more subtle and gonna kind of, and it almost gets behind the vanilla core which I think they did, I think they did it beautifully. Um, now, yeah, see, I can already smell the French Narcissus now. So it's already starting to pop. It's only been a couple, it feels like only like maybe a couple minutes or so, but I can already feel the smell start to come out. Um, now, as far as the performance for this, uh, I got about, I got about six hours out of this good six to seven hours or so um, just from based off of my experience um, it's projected to last about eight hours but I got about six out of it um, maybe you know maybe seven you know if you count those you know that last hour you really can't smell it it's, you know you gotta really get up close to somebody now the projection for me after I want to say you know uh, the first 15 minutes or so was uh, it was up there in terms of strength a little bit strong uh, never overpowering though I never felt like you know it was overwhelming or it was cloying to me um, the projection was great for the, I want to say the first hour and 30 to two hours I want to say you got about a good you know foot and a half to two feet within that first hour to hour and 30 minutes after about two hours you can say it's about a foot and it really kind of starts to break down from there, right? Now, I want to say the, like I said, the fragrance never was too intense, um, but I could definitely see this being, I want to say more of a springtime and more of a fall scent. This isn't a scent I, I would recommend for summer or winter time. I think during the summertime, I think the heat uh, when, you, when you're when you really in the heat and it you know causes that projection bubble to expand and increase, I think it's going to really hyphenate and I think it's going to really concentrate that vanilla. I think it's going to be too overwhelming for anybody that's around you. That's just my personal opinion. Um, as far as winter time, I personally, you know, I got it around Christmas time, so I've had a chance to wear it, you know, when it was really, really cold days. And I, I don't feel like the projection was that good. It was maybe okay. Like I remember being at, you know, a, a lounge, and I remember uh, the wind kind of it was a gust of wind that kicked it, that kicked up uh, the scent towards somebody nose, and a, a, a lady was like, "Oh, that smells great," you know. And but you you see that's kind of the things that had to occur, you know, a gust of wind picked it up, that type of thing. So for this type of fragrance, I would recommend spring and fall times. In terms of outfits to wear, I think that mm, I think it, it wouldn't be anything that you would want to wear too casual. Like I definitely wouldn't wear this with like a you know a t-shirt and shorts. You know what I mean? Uh, unless they were kind of um, you know business casual. So I would um, I would do business casual, um, but never you know as high as you know a tuxedo or you know suit and tie you know I think that smart casual business casual casual ish look is definitely what's gonna fit this type of fragrance um, as far as what I recommend what I wear this or what I continue to wear this absolutely 
Um, I think that this fragrance has the power to be a bit of a niche fragrance. Um, I think that after, I want to say after 30 minutes of you wearing it, you know, with the addition of that French Narcissus flower that really becomes pronounced in that middle note, um, you know, uh, you know, time frame, I think it really sets it, itself apart from a lot of other fragrances. Um, I would highly recommend it towards, um, you know, any friends or anybody that's looking to maybe get it, or maybe delve into the niche-ish, you know, fragrances while still having something that's mass, um, you know, uh, you know, mass approved or mass liked. You know, lots, a lot of the niche, niche fragrances that, you know, are top quality aren't necessarily going to be something that are mass, you know, appealing, you know, they, they're very complex. So for something like this, I definitely don't think that anybody wearing this is gonna, you know, have something that, you know, somebody's gonna smell and immediately know what it is. I highly doubt that. I didn't know what it was, and I've, you know, had at least 10 plus years of being in fragrances, right? Um, as far as how this reflects the brand, I think it reflects it well. Um, I definitely can see this being, uh, a, you know, a, a future staple within the brand, and. I don't know how I would feel about like a Parfums version of it. I think it's already strong enough, but um, I don't I don't think I would be against them developing a Parfum. Maybe not an elixir, but maybe like a Parfum version of this. Um, as far as the pricing for the fragrance, I, I wouldn't buy it. At, it's a lot of fragrances. I don't know how many fragrances I would buy at 120, uh, specifically 130 or however much this ended up being with taxes, which is like. I guess it was, I was actually wrong. It was actually 137. Um, I don't know if it's worth that much. I mean, unless you really just want the, the travel size one, which with the strength of this, you don't really need this. Um, but um, I do think for the singular bottle online, and even at the website, it's, it's not, you know, I think it's justifiable, you know, because you're not going to smell like, I want to say, 80 to 85 percent of the population um but these are my thoughts on Givenchy's gentleman society you all tell me what you think i personally liked it what were your thoughts on it if you haven't yet please like comment subscribe and uh see you soon